Welcome to Chatufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. Welcome family, welcome, greetings to you. Welcome to Chatufa Chete Chete, Chatufa Television Production. Uh, George Guamatanga buys 12 expensive mansions in Senten and Randberg, South Africa. So you see family, the corruption of Mnangagwa and ZANU PF government is not stopping anytime soon. The guys are still on full force of uh, making sure that the milk is Zimbabwe dry. With the way that we are seeing these guys doing uh, it seems that uh, they know that their days are numbered and they are beginning now to prepare for some, uh, you know, fleeing of Zimbabwe, some flight from Zimbabwe, knowing that they will be going somewhere to hide. Uh, and uh, you see with the properties that they are being, uh, they, are, they are buying outside of Zimbabwe. Guamatanga has been very controversial in many issues that are involving issues of finance. And uh, you still remember the last time we were talking about him, having been fired by Mnangagwa for reasons that were not disclosed, but ended up being saved by Kudam Mnangagwa. So a report that we have here about the purchases of the houses in uh, South Africa comes from the Hawks, and they report that Zimbabwe's controversial Minister of Finance Permanent Secretary, George Guamatanga, who has previously struggled to explain how he made his money and its current source, has bought 12 houses in adjacent upmarket suburbs in Senton, Rand back four ways and mostly in the neighboring affluent uh, 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 Dinefen Gulf Estate in Johannesburg, South Africa. An in investigation by Newswalks has revealed this raises uh, the specter of unexplained wealth failure to declare assets is required by government policy and the possible corruption by a top government official who previously lied about how he had made his money. Established addresses of Gomatanga's 12. Johannesburg properties are number 973 Woodchester, Danefen Golf Estate, worth 4.9 million runs, which Guamatanga jointly owns with Azine Chawatama, 19 Port de Bok Avenue, Danefen, uh, 2.9 million, 708 Sandu Ford Close, Danefen, uh, 5.6 million, 13 Morena Crescent, uh, Danefen, 3 million. 13 uh, via uh, Garibaldi Lane, uh, Piccolo, Italia Estate, uh, Ken Kenji's, 1.6 million, which is registered under Vimbai Guvamatanga. 26 Garibaldi Lane, uh, Kenji's, uh, uh, Kenji's ex extension 14, 1.5 million. 7 Dawson Crescent, uh, Marel, uh, Marel, Marela Dal, uh, Needwood, extension 5. 6.3 million rand under Vimpai Guamatanga and Evans Kudakwashe Mpandawana. Four ways extension uh, 253340 sectional title SS Bogo de Felis 1.3 million broad uh, acres sectional title SS Saw Junction 628 stroke 2017 964,000 rand 435 Coke Avenue Fernando under Munyoro, Guvamatanga, and Sharon Sizita and uh, Taenza Nisa, Guvamatanga, uh, 720,000 rand, uh, Glefens, uh, section sectional title, uh, 850,000, and another Glefenness property, sectional title of 860, uh, 850,000 rand. So this is the thief. We can all see the thief. One of the greatest thieves in Zanu PF. And look at 12 mansions, 12 expensive properties. When we talk about Sentin and uh, Randbeck in South Africa, and especially that Gulf Estate, and I'm sure this is the very same Gulf Estate, this Denfen Gulf Estate, where Mtulingube also is said to be near four ways, where Mtulingube is said to be building a massive, massive mansion. We have talked about that mansion in the previous uh, uh, show. So this is what is happening, family. Can you see that these evil men and women of zanu pf they are up to no good the, all this is money that is being stolen from zimbabwe 
All this is money that is being siphoned through dirty deals and corruption and dirty scandals. And Zimbabwe is wailing in poverty. Zimbabweans are in sickness and poverty, in darkness, no roads, no hospitals. And yet all these monies are stolen by individuals. And these individuals are taking them outside and in investing in properties outside Zimbabwe, which is not going to be benefiting Zimbabwe. But the good thing about this family is that uh, once we have records like this, this is why we also help to you know, talk about these issues because uh, putting them on social media like we do right now, this is also a record that is kept, which can be referred to uh, in, the near, in the near future. In the event that maybe the news orgs uh, lose their records, we can have this now on record. And uh, we can be able to trace, most of these properties are going to be traceable. And once traceable, they can be able to be brought back so these guys can enjoy it uh, during uh, 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 this time when they are still uh, holding on to power. But the truth of the matter is there are days that are coming where ZANU-PF is going to plunge. When ZANU-PF has plunged and Mnangagwa is gone, we are going to be uh, making sure that we follow up on all these monies that have been hidden and taken out of Zimbabwe. And you know, it's not going to be possible to hide these properties and to hide money. One way or the other, these properties are going to be found. They are going to be discovered. Remember what happened to Lungu. Lungu had all those 900, 100 and uh, something houses, 109 or 212 houses, mansions in Lusaka, some registered in names of proxies, but still they could be followed up. Even if he registers them in the name of proxies, they can still be traced and uh, can be found that uh, they belong to him. That's one thing that these ZANU-PF goons forget that uh, a time shall come where justice shall be saved. What they are doing to the Zimbabwean people today by stealing from Zimbabwe and making Zimbabweans, Zimbabweans poor, is they are going to pay for this. We are going to recover all these monies. We are going to recover all these properties, whether they are in Dubai or whether they are in uh, Britain, or whether they are in South Africa, wherever it is that they are hiding. And I'm telling you, these guys are going to pay deal, especially for those that have invested in South Africa. It's, it's, uh, it's unfortunate because no, the ANC now doesn't have all the power. Now it's going to be very, very difficult. And of course, the courts in South Africa have still continued to be uh, quite very uh, you know, independent to the point that if cases are brought before the courts that these guys have committed crime in Zimbabwe and then presented before a court in South Africa, evidence provided with evidences of the monies that have been um, uh, embezzled from Zimbabwe, the courts in South Africa can grant that those properties be attached, sold, auctioned, and the money returned to Zimbabwe. That's very possible. And those are some of the issues that we are going to be doing. We are going to be following up to make sure that uh, all the monies that are being stolen, uh, properties that are being bought and constructed outside Zimbabwe, they have to be recovered. And Zimbabwe must have its money back. Don't worry about what is happening. The money that they have, the, the wealth that they have should be now the money that they are, they, they are eating in their, what is in their stomachs. And but otherwise, everything else that is external, immovable, is going to be a problem. Only movable properties, maybe, are things that they can try to hide, but uh, we don't need them. The most expensive uh, are the immovable properties. And those are the things that shall be followed. And we shall be lobbying and uh, lobbying other governments to make investigations of any ZANPF individuals that have entered their countries, invested in their countries, or bought properties, those records are there. And they can easily be found by a, just a click of a button uh, on, the, on, on a keyboard of a computer. All that information comes out there and there. That's the good thing about computerization and technology. It's very, very easy. You don't have to go through boxes and boxes of files you know, that are dusty and you have to be jumping over shelves. No, 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 no. It's just computerized, especially with the countries that are moving on well with technology. Unfortunately, Zimbabwe is not that much technological. Uh, but otherwise, countries like uh, South Africa and the others, they are ma very much computerized that finding such information is not even a hectic. It's just a click of a button and you have all the information. And then we launch uh, our complaints, we launch our issues, we use our Zimbabwean courts to lobby for their uh, arrest, even with the warrants of arrest, and then Interpol can get to work. Interpol is uh, still very powerful and very existing, and is going to be hunting these guys down. We will catch them.
So we are giving them a warning that continue stealing, continue thinking that you are wiser than everyone else, that you are, you know, so witty, that you would, uh, you know, outwit everyone. But the truth of the matter is things are going to change and uh, 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 justice shall be saved for Zimbabwe. Whatever that has been done against the Zimbabwean people, it shall be restored. Things shall change. Goalposts shall change. Situation is going to change. And that is the work that we need. Myself, my prayer is I wish I could be given, in the, the new government could give me that job of making investigations and following up on all properties and all monies, accounts, whatsoever that has been, uh, that have been taken out of uh, Zimbabwe. I, I think I would want to be in that department that does that. I would love that so much because it's, it will make me so happy to be able to return what has been stolen from the masses of Zimbabwe back to Zimbabwe. It will make me so happy to see Zimbabwe beginning to become rich again by the monies that were stolen and taken out. Because that, those monies will come back into the coffers of the a working government and they can be uh, directed back, uh, planted back into uh, the economy, into uh, social services of Zimbabwe. That is going to be a, a joy for me. And the day that these things are, start to happen, you shall see them happening. And we shall be still around. Chatuva Television Production will still be around reporting that uh, those houses that we spoke about in 2024, uh, in, in in September, they are now discovered for Guamatanga, for uh, uh, George Charamba, uh, for Mtuli Ngube. Those houses in, in of ZANPF individuals in South Africa have all been frozen and the assets frozen, accounts frozen, and those monies are beginning to have the process of being brought back to Zimbabwe. Auction being done for those immovable properties and the money coming back to Zimbabwe. It will bring us so much peace and joy. And it's going to happen. So let them hear it from now. If they think that we are crazy, we will continue in our craziness. But the reality of life shall one day become real. So this is what it is, family. Very, very sad. The corruption and the thievery that we are seeing in our country while Zimbabwe continues to bleed. But God of justice shall bring justice upon the nation. Freedom of the Zimbabwean people is approached. We are in the season of change and no one is going to stop this. Zimbabwean people are continuously standing and fighting for their rights, fighting for what is right, fighting to correct what ZANPF is uh, miscorrected. And all things are going to work together for good for all Zimbabwean people. So this is what it is, family. Thank you so much for those that are joining me on the, on the shows. We have more shows that are coming. Continue to support your platform. Continue to like our videos, to share. And also, as much as possible, do not skip adverts. If you are not in a hurry, please let adverts run because they also promote our channel. Thank you so much. Uh, we, we continue in the struggle for the freedom of Zimbabwe. Freedom is a reality. God is in it. And Zimbabwe shall be great. You are blessed. Till we meet again in the upcoming show. Shalom.